Well, I advise to pay him, mate. Listen, uh, I've got to shoot. It's not only you that has emergencies, you know. All oh, right, I'll wait in Roy's rolls. Ah, I won't be daft. Yeah, go ahead and make yourself at home. Oh, okay. Come and put tea on. Yeah, and help yourself talk your fancy. Hmm. Hiya. What's going on? You don't know the word then? No. A word about what? All oh, right. Well, I was stuck for somewhere to stay. I might have given me flat out for a couple of days, so. You stay in? Yeah. Two nights, tops. Why, well, you don't mind, do you? No, why should I? Well, I just thought it might be a bit strange, that's all. Just for me and all that. So why didn't you say no thanks then? Oh, because I couldn't, could I? Yeah, you could. You should have done. Listen, if I could have turned your dad down without putting his nose out of joint, believe me, Katie, I wouldn't be here. And anyway. I'll make a big thing of it. I was making a big thing out of it. Hiya. Hi, Craig. You all right? Laying the table. Oh, you're cooking sound. Yeah. Oh, so Dad told you Martin was staying then, did he? Oh, yeah, he told me to tell you if I saw you, but I didn't see you. Thanks, Craig. It's better than Dad's cooking. What's the big deal? Mm. That was a bit of scram, that. At least I could do for letting me stay. Follow that, Dad. I've made a run from the own back there, haven't I? <laughs> right, is there what you need? Toothbrush razors? Nope, sorry, thanks. What about a towel? Hmm. All right, I can shake myself dry. Air in cupboard, go on. Hmm. And you, you can clear this lot away. I've got an exam tomorrow. It won't take five minutes, then you can do what you want. Excuse me, what's that face you need of? What face? What, are you nervous about your exams? Or are you just shy because we've got company? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Listen, I'll do all this if Katie's got to get back to her boat. Fine. Uh, no, Martin's cooked for us. Well, get him to do it then. I have got to revise. Katie? I'm sure with her. Oh, I shouldn't have stuck me all in, I suppose. Eh, it's not your fault. Eh? Can't sleep? Nope. You know what's up? Well, for most. Oh. Yeah, you like making jokes, don't you? All pally with me, Dad. And what's wrong with that? Just think you're false, that's all. False? Yeah, well, you hate being here. But you make up to him and our Craig, you can't get enough. Hey, hey, shh. Hang on a minute. Who said I hate being here? You did. You said you tried to get out of staying. That's not because I hate being here, Katie. <sighs> so you just hate me, then? No. Of course I don't hate you. Where's all this come from? Come here. Sit down. <sighs> What's all this about? You have... You've been weird with me ever since I kissed you at the party. I thought we'd go over all this. Yeah, and so did I. But you're still off with me. Don't you trust me or something? Yeah. Of course I do. So why did you say it was strange for you to be here? Look, if you trust me, then what is the problem? Look, I didn't want this. That's why I tried to get out of it. Okay. You didn't try very hard, though, did you? Forget it. All right. Mm. Look, I do feel awkward. But I'm in a situation here that I never expected to be in. What situation? Do you want me to spell it out to you? Well, yeah, I think I do. Yeah, well, hurry up and get back to bed. Yep, yeah, I'm uh, going. Good. Because Martin doesn't need you disturbing him. Oh, and uh, you've got school tomorrow. Sorry, Martin. Oh. See you tomorrow, mate. Night, mate. 